a sturdy branch. It's got a big booty. <laughs> I need an intro, I haven't even said anything. Hey, you're tired. Got our map. We're ready. Stay under the covers, yeah. I was saying, keep a good thing going, a good thing's going right. Say, don't you think it's strange? What's going on? Everything's strange. Hello, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. As you can see, I am in Wilson's prom. So I will pop up a map here of where Wilson's prom is in relation to Melbourne. It is around, what, three hours from Melbourne? Three and a half. Yeah. Three and a half. So Kate picked me up this morning. This is Kate. I don't know if you've had the vlog met you. Yeah, I've been on. Yeah. yeah. Here and there. Yeah. So any anyone who's been on the channel only while I've been in Canada, this is my best friend, Kate. I've known her since I was four years old. And we're doing a little camping gals trip for the next two nights. What's the time now? Like five, six-ish? Yeah, six. Six. So just got in. We set up the campsite. It's super cute. We've got like a marquee and everything. And we're going to have a yummy barbecue for dinner. The facilities here are so nice. And we've seen a wallaby so far. Seen two. And then just some nice birds. But I'm hoping for wombats tonight. Because I, don't th I think I've seen one wombat in my life. In the wild. But yeah, it's so beautiful here. I'm gonna learn how to surf. Kate's gonna teach me. <laughs> we have wetsuits and everything, but this is the most uh, southerly part of the mainland of Australia. Fun fact of the day, so I bet you didn't know that. Is that it anything? Just bird? Okay. My eyesight's really bad, so Kate has to help me spot the wildlife. Not too much else to say. We had a little stop. Um, what was the town? Minion? Minion. Minion. And unfortunately the bakery was shut Monday, Tuesday, but we're gonna go on the way back. Yeah, we just picked up a snack, a smoothie and a pie. It was great from the cafe there, the general store. And Katie had like a yum sandwich. Yeah, sandwich and a coffee. It was really good and the drive was beautiful. So yeah, you can camp here all year round. Yeah. yeah. I'll show you guys the campsite when we're back. Here is our little setup. We have the trusty ropes holding up the marquee to the car and to the tree. We've got a cute little campy chairs. We saw a wallaby over there before. Here is our tent. Honestly, ideal setup. We have a little porch. The flywire net is already up. So this is the sort of campsite that you get. And we've just put the car as like a bit of a barrier so there are people over there. And there could be people next to us when we wake up. But um, yeah, the, the, you just have to look out for these. This is what like the site number is. And then that's a road behind us there. But we are gonna go cook some dinner while it's still light. Hi, some beautiful parrots. It's hard to see how beautiful the coloring is. Oh, hi. <laughs> these birds are so tame. Okay, it's like ready for dinner. <laughs> They're so confident. <laughs> you live your best life. Hi. Got nothing for you, buddies. We haven't eaten yet. We actually don't have a crumb. You're so chill. What are they? I think they're a rosella or a type of. Because rosellas are usually rainbow colored. No, Guys, it's a wombat. Hi. Oh. Look at him go. Yeah, no. Oh. Hi. Guys, I found another one. Hi. Look how cute he is. Hi. Hi. Oh, you're so cute. Miss Kate. Ooh. 
Look at him go. <laughs> Look at the big bum. Really on a mission. He's got a big booty. Bye. Biggest flame I've ever seen. We can go higher. Ooh. <laughs> they're so good for camping because they're so light and they're so small. Yeah. Fair hiking, I mean. She's dribbling. <laughs> oh, there we go. Wait. Look at this. They're like red hot. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so scary. Oof. Yes, now we have hot cocoa. Norman's Point, or some lookout. The rest of our hike was closed off for erosion, flood damage, wind damage, all of that. So, yeah, it's like perfect um, hiking weather because it's really not too hot, but it's hot enough that your gal is sweating because it was uphill. But I'm loving it. It's so beautiful here, and there's a nice breeze, beautiful gull just flying by. And if you keep going that direction, you'll reach Tasmania. So, yeah, we haven't seen any wildlife apart from that gull. Um, but we think that we're seeing wombat droppings because they what are they Kate? What shape? Square. They're square. <laughs> Have you been to this lookout before? You said maybe not. No, I haven't. I've done the longer walk that goes along the coast a bit more. And it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, well, maybe next time. <laughs> Won't be my last time here. We're just gonna have a sit and then probably head back and yeah, go on to the next hike maybe. And we're gonna be surfing later. Perfect weather for a surf. I'm nervous yet excited. Should I be nervous? Yeah. Nice good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Surf's up, dudes. <laughs> okay. We have our hopes and our dreams. Look how far these people are. <laughs> I think they're stand up paddle boarding. I would not recommend anyone going out that far. Like that is the closest shore. <laughs> I would they say that's like a few Ks. What do you reckon? No idea, it's so hard to tell. Yeah, so that's very far. Like normally if I'm going out on the beach, I'm just like the first break, I'm like, I'm good. There are people surfing over there, like that's normal. That is not normal and I hope they're okay. <laughs> Cute little viewpoint. Woo! Yay, Wilson's prom! <laughs> so small. I'm like a giant. There we go. I'm down on the other side. I know. I need to be up high. Safety first. I read the note that you gave me to the moonlight in my bedroom. Apart the star. Good afternoon everyone and happy Tuesday. So it is officially day two, our only full day here and we've done over like 15,000 steps today. We did two different hikes and it's like around 3 p.m. now so we didn't really time things too well in terms of doing like Mount Bishop and Mount Oberon so we're just gonna do one of them tomorrow and we're going to surf for the rest of the afternoon because I feel like if I do too much else then I would have been way too tired to like attempt surfing so it's gonna be like super hard for someone who's never surfed before but I thought I would give you guys a quick little overview of some of the stuff that we brought because I know if you're new at camping or if you're kind of not sure what to bring to a site like Wilson's Prom I thought I would talk you guys through tomato sauce Doritos shapes we have peanut butter and we got some bread rolls some crackers some bread for our dinner last night and then here is our giant esky or cooler if you're from overseas and 
end we have meat, eggs, we have dip, salad, star, fruit, and we bought two huge things of ice. So they're about five bucks each, and we've gone through both now. We just drained the liquid out of this. Um, we have some wetsuits. We have obviously some shopping bags. And if we go around here, yeah, Kate obviously has her bag with clothes and everything. This tub is great, like a plastic tub like this is great for kitchen stuff. For somewhere that has facilities here, you just sort of need barbecue gear like cutlery and, you know, plates that you don't mind getting a bit ruined. Bring like cooking oil, coffee, whatever you need, like little, just little picnic things. It's that little coffee setup. So this little teapot just sits on top of this burner here and yeah we just had a coffee with those and I also cooked my eggs on this this morning with a little saucepan so you definitely need something like that this is a fold-up table that was just in Kate's car and this marquee I can't believe we put this up just the two of us it was very interesting but yeah we just pegged it down kind of with the tent and here we just did it with the the car and a sturdy branch but there's been absolutely no wind as you can see the trees are barely moving hanging towels up like this is great for drying i would create like a little line like something like this would be great to put wet bathers or anything like that after you go for a surf or a swim um the bathroom facilities are literally just around the corner and up and there is clean drinking water so yeah a facility like wilson's prom has like everything but if you're going to somewhere a bit more rural then you may have to bring water in and a lot more supplies um food that doesn't need to be like here there you're not allowed to do any campfires like no fires at all yeah always bring um sunscreen and rain jacket and different things like that depending on the weather like you just don't know if you're anywhere mountainous if it's going to rain or not or the different sort of environment and as for phones, we have absolutely no reception, which is really nice, actually. But I would bring like a UE boom, like a boom speaker, and have some stuff already downloaded, pre-downloaded on Spotify or on Apple Music or whatever. So you've got some tunes. And we have a little lantern that hangs up there at night so we can sit and obviously wear lots of layers and bug spray because <laughs> if you're anything like me, mosquitoes love me and I just don't any time for that but i'm gonna get into my bathers and attempt to put on a wetsuit so this should be very interesting <laughs> wish me luck Gal attempted surfing and it was it was it wasn't the best thing I've ever done but it was the worst. So I wouldn't say I'm Kelly Slater yet, but you know, I'm probably as good as a toddler. I boogie boarded and I hit myself in the face and the hand and the foot, but you know what? The way is temperamental and you know sometimes you just not your heart's just not in it. So maybe next time find the right pipe and uh, sh shred those gnarly waves. But yeah, we're at the beach and Kate's here. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> How did you think I went out of 10? You're awesome! So well of you, <laughs> I think my board is very nice. I think my face is the board the show the last time I went to. <laughs> Guys, I'm not that shit, it's fine. <laughs> Like it's the money picker guys, I can't. <laughs> My healthcare isn't that good. <laughs> Off the bucket list, we did it. Now we're gonna go shower. Yeah, yeah, dinner. We're gonna have. Uh, we're gonna ruin a barbecue again. <laughs> this one shred shredding. What are we cooking? We've got honey soy. Yeah. Over here, these ground ones. Mhm. Mm and we've got plum. 
Um, red ones. You've got your camera to boot. <laughs> Document I've got every my moment. Camera to capture what we're doing. So this is the burner that we uh, messed up last night, but then girls use it after us. <laughs> so we got out of cleaning it, but it feels like not many people are cleaning. Like this was spotless yesterday, but we did our best. And this is our outlook. We've got some friends next to us. <laughs> and then we have a village of seagulls that are hanging around. There's our campsite. Just had dinner. And then our wombat friend is just there. Next to the surfboard. Hi, look how beautiful he is. Hi friend. This is exciting even for an Aussie. You don't just see wombats hanging out. Kate, he's right here. He's huge. Look at him. He's right there. Look how beautiful he is. Happy Wednesday. Kate and I are just about to leave Wilson's prom. We just packed up everything. Our campsite is lovely and clean. And yeah, now we're going to head off to one of the hikes. I think we're doing Mount Bishop. So we're going to drive there because it's not accessible through the walking track that it was originally. Did you have a good time? Yeah, I had a great yeah. time. We had such good weather. We had such good weather. It's kind of cool today, but I mean, I'm in a t-shirt and leggings, so. Excited for the hike, lots of views. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Bye. Bye.